Hey everyone, I hope you're all doing great and I am really sorry I haven't uploaded in a while. I've been busy for the past couple of weeks. Uh, as you may guys know, I went to Toulouse, I visited Airbus and I made a video about that. If you haven't seen it yet, I can just click here on the right corner and go check it out. And so now I am back at work, working on the A380. I've been working on the wings, I've been designing the wings uh, and the A380 wings are really complicated, especially with this curve thingy. But I finished designing all that and I have now a structure inside, I even made molds for them. And so in this video I will cut uh, all the ribs and stuff like that inside the wing and even 3D print the molds. I wanna try one wing because it's really big, like over 2 meters long each wing, that's the mold. And I've, uh, I've never done such big mold like that, so I hope it will hold the shape and all this stuff. I wanna try just one piece and see if it works. But before that I still have some work on the fuselage, I just want to finish the mounts and then uh, start with the wings. Alright, let's get to work. Alright, uh, I will now install these carbon fiber rods, 10 millimeters each and I had to send, this is very important, you have to send it so it bonds good with the epoxy and so i made these uh, are parts of the molds i print them separately and it's like a template for these the holes are 100 percent aligned and they will go uh, 90 degrees because of the um, it's really tight so they will go 90 degrees and so i glue this and then i cut it from here uh, remove that which is remove the tail section and install uh, put the other side of the fuselage in here and glue the other side and then hopefully they will be 100% aligned and they will be it so i made this for the tail and this is here for the nose and so let's hope it works Alright, so this is the results. I'm really happy with that. It took so much time because after I mount those spars, there are eight on each side. Uh, it was like aligned, I would say 99%, but because, you know, it's made out of 3D printed molds. So at the corners, there were some, you know, bent and stuff like that. So I had to fill this, sand it and cutting and sanding. So it, it was a bit of work, but the results are really amazing in here so happy with that still of course i will add locks in here like at the bottom and at the top just like the a350 two screws in here and the tail the same two screws and the whole thing will be secured and strong enough all right uh, that's it for the fuselage for now i would say 
And so now let's start with the wings or first let me show you what I've made so far. So this is how I made the uh, wings for the A380. I had this AutoCAD drawing. So I have the top view and the front view and what I basically did is I took the outer lines. I brought the, air, the wing profile and I made a 3D model out of it, which is just a basic uh, wing ribs. And this is the front view where I followed the exact shape. I had to modify the first three uh, ribs in here to match the wing because it's really thick from here. And so I could add a bit thickness so I can house the retract in here because the wing uh, on the trailing edge gets really thin. So it was barely enough to house the retract. And this is uh, every, everything I've done on uh, AutoCAD. And then after that, I imported this whole model into Fusion. And then on Fusion 360, yes, that was so much work, but I basically have the base drawing in here. I made also the mold out of it, which is I basically use the loft tool to make the skin of the wing, made the mold out of it, made the wing spars, the ribs and everything, even the retract is in here with the retract base also the engines i'm not done with the engines yet it's not the time yet but most important is the wing itself i added two spars main spar is 40 millimeters and this is the secondary spar which is 30 millimeters and a, a tiny spar here which is also 10 millimeter spar just to give some support on the trailing edge because the landing gear is mounted in here and that's basically it flaps and the aileron and here are all the parts ready for the CNC, the wing ribs, the wing spars, and these are for the ESC mounts, two ESCs inside the wings. So that's about it. This whole thing took me, I don't know, two or three weeks to finish all that. It was really complicated. I still have to do the engine nacelles and the byron itself. I need to make a mold for that as well which is a lot of work, uh, inlets and stuff like that. So, uh, this is ready for the CNC is ready. So now I will employ my Stepcraft CNC and start cutting all that. Plus I will also be printing the molds. This is the mold from here to here is over two meters. Uh, wingspan, I mean with the wingspan is 3.8, but when you take it at this angle like this, this is uh, almost two, more than two meters. And so printing this will be, uh, it will take forever basically. This video is sponsored by BCB Way. Now I'm sure you guys are already familiar with BCB Way. They have been supporting this channel for over a year now. They are specialized in PCB manufacturing and prototyping. That means uh, if you have a PCB that you want to print, they will do it for you in uh, 24 hours. They also have CNC machining, 3D printing, uh, injection molding, and much, much more. And if electronics and PCBs are your thing, there is a contest that is uh, going on right now uh, where you can uh, make your own design and submit it on their website and win prices up to 1,500 US dollars. So I will leave a link for you in the video description if you want to learn more. And now let's start cutting.
all right so here is the left wing mold this is the bottom side of it and this thing is humongous to save as much material as possible i made it thin in here after i realized that it will end up if i continue with this line it will end up like 30 centimeters high and was so much material so i thought i'd do this and so i end up with this one uh i'm just trying i'm still not sure about this one if this will work because yeah look at this i'm not sure that this piece is 100 percent aligned because it's it's big like from this point to there is over two meters so what i will do now i will just fill these big gaps in here with some uh filler and sand it but before that i will uh try to assemble the inner structure and see the the whole wing this is just a try i'm just going to try it see if it follows the exact shape and uh, if this works then i will print there are three more pieces for the right wing and uh, the third one will be the top of this anyways let's get to work I think that's good uh, it looks good to me I mean the wing shape of the a380 is really uh, different it's all curved this is looking good here is going to be the main spar going here a second spar will go in here and uh, yeah retract mount and these are here to separate the flaps all the way there to the aileron so I can cut it and I have it's supported from both sides because i've done the mistake before where i only added one and then when i cut the flap out it's not really supported so it can twist very easily so i had to put a piece in it so now it's already here i'm um, a bit concerned about the distance it's too close now nah, whatever and these are here the main two spars i think this will be enough uh i th maybe i should have put some holes here to make it a bit lighter but I guess a couple of grams won't matter with this humongous wing. Yeah, so this looks good. I will remove all that again. And uh, I might cast this and see how this will turn out. So I just did that. I covered the whole mold with some vinyl. I have these uh, left over from old projects. And so I thought this is faster, you know, just cover it and I will cast it directly on this. So much faster than spraying twice or three times and sanding and all these stuff because I always end up sanding the part itself. And so we can still see the, you know, the layers stuff from the plastic, but that won't be a problem because I will sand the part itself.
so uh, it's not bad uh, of course we see all the layers from the uh, mold but this can be all sanded later when the wing is completely finished I can sand all that and make it super smooth so I think I will start working on the structure inside this one and meanwhile I will be printing the top and the right wing as well So I just glued the ribs and the spars with just some drops of glue just to have it all in one piece so I can uh, put the glue later and put the whole piece in the wing. I will now mix some epoxy with uh, a slow hardener so I have enough time and I will also add some glass bubbles or micro balloons to the mixture and uh, yeah glue that in the wing. Alright, so, so far so good. This is the retract base in here. I have to cut that before I close it. I need to make sure that the retract fits uh, good. I still have to install the main spars, two, three. I mean, uh, I'm, honestly, I'm happy with that. Look at the curve, it's perfect. And on my original design of the flaps, I had these spars in here and that was uh, too short so I had to cut them and I brought them a bit backward because uh, there would be like when I cut the flap this is the flap cut in here this is the exact cut so when I cut this out uh, I will have a curve or rounded edge in here leading edge of the flap and uh, this is here much better and for the wing tip I will make a small mold for it later uh, and it will just be glued in here I broke this already uh, yeah, this is looking good. All right, uh, that's it for this video. I know that there is not so much progress, but I did so much on Fusion and that took me so much and it's been two months since I uploaded uh, a build video of the A380. So that will be it. I will continue working on the next video. I'll continue working on the wing. There are so many things to install inside. That is just one wing, second wing, and then the most complicated part would be to mount the wings on the fuselage. I need also to cut on the CNC because the main spar 
of the wing is not straight they are both cut and they go at around i think 10 or 12 degrees inside the fuselage and i need to make uh, something on the cnc or on fusion that will yeah, align everything together inside the fuselage so thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for the next video maybe we will get to see the whole wing closed hopefully